Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade out of 14 inch drawer slide and springs. Now, these extension springs have size labels on them. I don't entirely know exactly how to read them, so look at them closely, memorize them, and make sure that these are the ones that you get when you get them. For the first step, what you're going to do is cut the drawer slide apart. But in doing that, you will first need to take it apart. The most inner slide has a black knob. When you pull it all the way out, you'll be able to pull on the knob with your finger and pull the first slide all the way out. <clears throat> I've already taken it apart, so... Um, yeah. The second slide should end up looking like this. And the base slide should look like this. Um, in order to take out the second slide, you need to bend the nub in the back or cut it off. Okay, now that we have the second stage cut into 10 inches, which it should be at right now, let's double check. Oh, my mistake. 10 and a quarter. And after you cut that, make sure that you dust off any remaining metallic dust because you do not want that to mess with the ball bearings inside here. <clears throat> Alright, now that's done. You have it cut to the last circle, just like that. And now you have two pieces that have three holes in them now. Now that you have the second slide attached to the base slide again with the ball bearings inside and everything, you will now want to attach the slides together. And you do that by simply putting a screw through this hole and out not through here not through here and not through here but through the straight slit in between these two holes Now your second stage cannot move because it's attached down there, like that. Now that you have this put together, you'll need to cut the blade. Your most inner slide will be cut into the blade. Now you're going to want to make this maybe 11 or 11 and a half inches or so um, yep so we're going to cut right over here first I don't know if you can see that we're gonna leave these two holes like that 
and from there all the way to the front would be 11 and a half inches which is a little bit longer than my arm but just to be safe we'll start with that and if we can make it any shorter we can make it shorter From the end of the base and in, you'll need to drill a hole three quarters of an inch in on the um, blade. I don't know if you can see where I marked, but from the end of the base to that marking that I made is three quarters of an inch. You need to drill a hole right there so let's take this out this will well yeah this might be in the way so you want to carefully turn it around without breaking it like that and now you're free to drill in that um, actually, yeah, now you're free to drill in that hole that I just marked right there. Okay, now that that's done, you should have a hole right there. Measuring from the tip of here which should be about 9 inches from here to that hole that I just made. Now, um, you can turn your lock back around, make sure it doesn't break, and we are almost done.